Sting, and it sting. is, you know, it is the, the ZSS Sting, I believe. No, it is Link. So oh, okay. also interesting here. But the thing is, is like, so we saw Vash earlier, and now we're seeing Vash now, right? So it's definitely a few sets uh, removed from the first time we saw him. So Sting. It's got to know how to play this game, uh, getting this far into the bracket. So there should be a, uh, a barn burner. These two should be beating the hell out of each other. It's going to be seeing a lot of exciting stuff. Ooh, going to get the crown into the dash attack. Yeah, the re reverse hit of crown sets up for K. Rool so much. And, like, look at this raw challenging coming out from Vash. He's not letting... He's not going to let Sting rest if he can help it. Okay. Right, yeah, dude, it, uh, Sting is just absolutely just throwing out all of these hard-hitting moves. Just trying to get something down on Vash, but man, that's, I'm actually kind of surprised. Normally uh, with Lynx, oh, that's a down air into the up air. They're going to get the spike into the, uh, he's almost killing him, honestly. The town and city just a little too tall. No, don't do, <laughs> no, you don't need to do him like that. <laughs> <laughs> Vash, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Man, like, that's what I mean. Like he he's been showing up, showing up here, trying to set the tone, like show off what he can do. And K. Roll means have had such a big boon. Like I mean, you did mention uh, poor uh, the uh, the Australian. I forgot his name already. But uh, Ben Gold. Ben Gold. Yeah, Ben Gold might be dropping him, but they've got other representatives in uh, Kirby Kid doing incredible oh in this uh, in these past few Wi-Fi brackets or in these brackets in general. Yeah, Kirby Kid's absolutely insane, dude. Being able to play like him is just wild. He's such a talent. Um, he's just got a, he's just got a knack for playing K roll. He's got all these confirms. He's got a bunch of different ways to just um, kind of get his hits and make them matter. Uh, so I mean, we're gonna see if Vash can kind of harness that same energy. Gonna get that up air, taking out that second stock. Uh, Sting did a good job taking a stock back, but man, uh, now we're seeing Vash with a full stock lead now. Oh, and the crouch, Link uh, squatting just a little bit to avoid the return hit of the crown. Uh, it's just so unfortunate that it can only go at one angle uh, okay, if you're Sting. the Carol player. Yeah, and Sting's starting to get a bit of uh, some counterplay going on here. Uh, getting some good punishes. Throwing out way too many forward smashes. All right, he's wiring out. <laughs> he's... Yeah, I mean, he figured he'd be using his projectiles just a little bit more. Especially Link? that boomerang. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Like just enough time to get off that spin attack uh, the way i see it and, and to go off of what you say like link has two main ways he can play he can play nair or he can play uh boomerang and yeah. bomb your bomb you're always going to be using but nair link can suffocate heavies just as much as any rushdown character as a lot of links moves are, are just really quick and more importantly really safe yeah, but you do got to be careful with that Nair, though, because uh, you got a Nair on the other side with Vash, but that forward smash instead is going to be able to take out that final stock. But yeah, as, we, as I was saying, that Nair from Link can obviously do very well against heavies, but you got to keep in mind that K. Rule is a heavy that's built a little different with a belly armor uh, as strong as steel and can just absolutely power through some of these moves here. And, and just some, a lot of these over commits like he'll land the he'll land <laughs> links nair and just immediately look for that hail mary and it's like the, like part of what makes heavies like such a struggle to play in this game is that you can nickel and dime them to 160 and just not give them a chance to really interact but a lot of these roles and a lot of it really can like consistently wanting to throw out and get that big swing and uh, like putting leaving himself very open in the process mm -hmm. yeah but you know what uh we're gonna see a pretty strong showing from vash to start off here taking a good 1-0 on town and city too uh normally i think like uh, i mean k Rool can get away with it a bit more because he's got a couple really good projectiles but generally i feel like you want to go to somewhat of a smaller stage and um Really, I felt like I felt like that stage was entirely in favor of Sting. You know, being able to use those projectiles just to build up a lot of damage. K rules kind of quick again. Uh, has some good projectiles on his own, but you could have used that boomerang a bit more. Just kind of really uh, set the tone. Uh, just like harass Vash as much as possible. Build up that percentage. You know. Yeah, but I've I've often heard and that uh, Link mains have cited Town and City as one of, if not his best stage. Period. Uh, he kills really reliably off the side, even earlier with things like F tilt, with things like uh, spin attack, and just all of his ledge trapping setups. A uh, bomb is so oppressive and can be tra used to trap in multiple different ways. Uh, but so to take a game on that, take a game on what your opponents could be their best stage. Period is. 
Like it's a little bit of a little bit of a hit to the heart if you're Sting, but Adaptation is the name of the game for games two and three, and we saw a pretty competitive game in the early in the early goings of game one. So it's up to it's gonna be we're gonna have to see how Sting uh, manages that and tries not to swing too for the fences too much. Yeah, but here we go. We're gonna be on battlefield now. I feel like this actually. Uh, I mean, this should be Sting's counter pick, but I feel like this benefits uh, Vash a bit more here than at least in Town and City. I think that uh, necessarily Link still probably does better on Final Destination than K. Rule, um, but like, it's not as bad for K. Rule here. <laughs> oh no! Hey, it's it's actually a very it's very similar to Town, different blast zones, but you have a wide open center area and plenty of room for K. Rule to try and land and try and come down with uh, with his buttons. In the same way, so can Link, and a solid, a very very impressive uh, percent. Uh, percent differential in the side of Sting. Yeah, and wow. that'll be okay, the that stock. Was a, yeah, that was a lot of very good pressure from Sting. Uh, he used that boomerang a couple times too, just to kind of create some reliable pressure and just kind of a uh, not necessarily bully Vash, but like uh, just again, just put on that pressure, build up that damage a little bit. Uh, holding down to make so that Vash can't get the oh. edge guard. <laughs> Woo! Okay, all right, all right, all right. Good coverage, good coverage from Vash. Not getting the stock choice over finally. Finally landing that third hit. Not only that, but double jumping twice. Probably could have landed with an aerial, but calling out the air dodge from Sting and then just kind of landing with that uh, that dash attack to close out that stock. That was some, some good stuff. Great little read. All right. You're about to... As soon as uh, Sting lands a nair on shield, he rolls. More often behind. So... There we go. <laughs> Vash, Vash can... If he's watching, he can punish all of those. But it's it's always rough to punish Link's Nair. It's one of the best Nairs in the game. But holding shield through it all is a way to do it. Ooh, yep, was going for a big old spike right there with the down air. But those last couple hits from the hero spin gonna be able to connect. Okay. Oh, calling out the roll again. Nash attack not taking it. Good stuff. Yep, absolutely. Uh, he could have thrown out an aerial, but recognizing that Sting was probably going to try and play a bit defensive there, trying to land with an aerial of his own, and Vash just got the punish. Oh, that's, wow. Yeah, He's doing such a good job calling out these air dodges. He almost made him air dodge. Uh, in With the crown coming back the way it was, that was quite hard to avoid, but and so is Link's fair, and sometimes on ledge like that, you have, to, you have to be really careful with how many buttons Link can put out. Oh, yep. Yeah, ill advised forward smash. Yeah, see, dude, he's got these air dodges on lock, man. Uh, Sting has got to be careful with the way that he's recovering the stage. Go back to the ledge, uh, retreat a little bit. You don't have to keep holding forward. Just find a way back to the stage that does not involve you air dodging again. Vash gonna be able to call it out once more. Yeah, Vash, he's coming. He finally goes to the ledge. Ooh, keep an eye on that belly. It's a little bit cracked. Yeah. 102 apiece, oh, but the bomb is keeping Vash at bay. With an air dodge of his own, will that be no? Kaylee's heavy. Kaylee's a heavy boy. Back. Okay, back throw. Yep. Wow, look at that angle. Oh my, he, he's super dead. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they actually changed that angle like a couple patches ago too, didn't they? Yeah, that was a a newly buffed angle that makes it real hard for fast followers to recover. And oh, Link, man. while his recovery is solid, it's it's not that solid. I'm yeah. surprised we didn't see the bomb recovery though. Maybe bomb was on stage. I, uh, bomb recovery is really hard to do on Wi-Fi. That's fair. That's also <laughs> fair. But yeah, no, that was actually a really good start from Sting. He came out guns blazing. Looks like he had the right pressure. But then like Vash just started figuring out the right way to kind of approach. And not only that, but once he got his advantage, right, forcing um, Sting to kind of take a more defensive stance, he just started making him air dodge and just punishing the air dodge hard. It was a really bad habit that honestly cost. Uh, sting the set. Like, oh, yeah. Bad. It was bad. <laughs>